So, we finally get it, Avengers Infinity War. A movie that's been almost a decade in the making. So, was it worth the wait? Was it worth all the hype? Yes and no. So there are some good action sequences in this movie, and the villain Thanos, he is physically imposing throughout the whole movie, and all these characters seem to not be able to handle him everywhere he goes. I kind of like a Marvel movie, or a comic book movie, where the characters can't actually handle the villain, they're actually kind of nervous about losing. Where else in the other Marvel movies you had this safeguard knowing that, hey, these characters are not going to die by this B-movie villain as they would with Thanos. However, if you read any of the Marvel comics, you would know that Thanos actually does win the Infinity War after a series of complications. However, there's more detail into that, that Thanos does eventually lose the gauntlet. But that's just going into comic book territory. What do I think about this film as a whole? If you're new to Marvel movies, if you're new to comic book movies, you will be confused as hell when you walk into this theater to watch this movie. Because, you see, it used to be that people would make standalone films for the general audience to look upon. If you don't know what that means, that means when you walk into the theater, the movie is made so that you as an audience member will understand it, regardless if you know the source material. However, this movie doesn't hold back on that. It doesn't care if you know anything about the source material. It just throws everything comic booky at you, and that's the way I can explain it. So there are some characters I sympathize. I really like Peter Parker in this movie. And Star-Lord, for some reason, was my favorite, regardless about what he did in the movie. I actually like Star-Lord, and I like <laughs> Drax the Destroyer. I like how Doctor Strange has a more prominent role in this movie. He does a lot more than I initially thought. However, so does Tony Stark, and I do like Tony Stark as a character. I just think sometimes we should give other characters more room, but that's what happens when you have a contract with an actor, and I have nothing wrong with that because I love Robert Downey Jr. We're going into spoiler territory. What's interesting is that the film ends with the hero characters losing, but there's a catch. All the hero characters that die still have a contract with Marvel Studios, Versus the characters that live, their contracts are actually about to end. So I don't know what they're going with this. I think they're trying to force these actors into signing on for another film, or at least one more film in the franchise. I just thought that was an interesting creative choice. If you're going to just kill all the characters that still have contracts, and some of them are relatively new, why would you keep the characters that their contracts are about to end? And I don't really understand that, but I guess we're going to find out more when Avengers 4 come out. All in all, I think this movie was well executed, especially there's so many actors on screen and the, act and the director does a good job at maintaining every single person, every single character has a purpose, and I like that. However, in the end, this is in a way still just a comic book film when you know that there's going to be an outcome where everyone's going to be okay at the end. Marvel has basically told us that not all the characters that died in Infinity War will come back. Guys, I know this review is long overdue, but I just got done with a well-deserved vacation, and I'm back in the game. I'm ready to get back out there. Guys, this is The Great Geek Detective. Thanks for watching.